we've got little Maggie, which is a a seven-year-old Westie. And I, whenever we do a dental, I normally give owners the same preamble. And I thought it was just easier while I've got Evan and Maggie here to put it on our YouTube channel, and people can hear kind of the same preamble. So essentially, what what people don't realise that's really important, at least that I think is philosophically very important, is that every pet deserves a pain-free infection-free mouth you know we all want perfect teeth white teeth we go to the dentist every six months but it's kind of different a pet deserves a great life and they don't necessarily have to have all their teeth so even i really feel that a pet that every dog deserves a pain-free infection-free mouth so the, em the emphasis is no pain if any of you have had dental pain you'll know how painful it is and we can extrapolate and say if a dog's got if a dog's got dental disease, we can extrapolate from humans, the pain would be the same. And another thing is we don't want infection. It's incredible how much infection we see in a dog's mouth, um, how much periodontal disease and periodontitis. Um, the, the issue with dogs as opposed to humans, and this is a big philosophical issue, is they've got to get anesthetized every time. They've got to go on a drip, they've got to be monitored, we, there's a lot of procedures. So it's not the same as just going like, we got our dentist every six months, you might put a little bit of local and do a procedure. This little Maggie potentially, and in many cases all over the world, and in many cases all over the world, people are anesthetizing the dogs every six months to do a dental. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it's a philosophy a lot of people don't really want. So what we're planning to do, Evan, with Maggie, is when your pet is under, as a minimum, we'll take a little probe, we'll explore every gum socket and any tooth that's probably going to be a problem or that the probe goes in will actually remove so when you get your pet back pain free infection free but any tooth that's going to be a problem we're going to take out we're not going to ask you to come back in six months we do have dental x-rays and we strongly recommend them and that's an option people can have but we but as a minimum what we do because we'll discuss the cost an average dental is about eight hundred dollars we'll discuss the costs and then we prefer x-rays because then we can kind of know where we're going but um, Evan has told me that he prefer he doesn't doesn't like the ongoing anesthetics and he's right not to what I can what I can also say is in the team we've got in the dentals we've been doing the last few years there's been no dental deaths the monitoring is incredibly um, complex with measuring carbon dioxide expired pulse we have an ECG going internal body temperature um, res respiration blood pressure so the team takes it very seriously so we, we don't have a problem with anesthetics even if the pet is old because the, you know the, 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 the prognosis is way up even 99.9 percent .9 or even higher but it's still an issue so pain-free infection free do as much as we can in one go and um, Evan's happy to go potentially after this to some of the the people that will actually do non-anesthetic cleaning and maybe that would be an option that's reasonable. I know it's very controversial to a lot of people watching, but the fact that, he's, that we're balancing everything together makes a lot of sense. So we're going we're gonna to recommend a dental, which I haven't been able to examine the mouth thoroughly yet. But when it's under, we'll examine the mouth thoroughly. We may take x-rays, we may even do a blood screen. The blood screen's become a very big thing in veterinary science today. And many of you will know when you've gone to your vet for any procedure, they do bloods. In America, it's becoming a norm to do bloods every year when you come to your vet. Every vaccination from the start. People are even taking it further. But they optional extras. We're going to give a pain-free, infection-free mouth and do as much as we can in one veterinary procedure that this pet will be maybe not 100% better, but 90, 90 to 99% better, and we'll take it from there. It's taken for granted that, even though I'm not saying, we'll obviously scale the mouth thoroughly polish the mouth thoroughly if they're gum pockets we do something called sub gingival curette where we take a little curette and try and clean it out in certain cases we might even put periodontal sealants in the gum but just obviously the the, the, the scale and polish that you're used to when you go to your dentist we will be doing at the same time very thoroughly as well um, and uh, that's a given on every single dental we do we don't the 800 dollars is inclusive and we don't charge for an extra tooth or two it's really a time thing we take out the worst teeth first and we, we, we budget for about an hour in theatre.
Okay, so I just... Going home very happy. <laughs>